My name is Deanna Lawrence, and I'm 37 years old. About 11 years ago, I decided that I could do a drug and that it wouldn't bother me. And I decided to use a needle, and it totally ruined my life. My life went from me being with my children, me being able to work and hold down a job, to me losing it all. I would go from day to day wanting to know, figuring out how I was gonna get money to get my next, my next drug. Whether it be me having to sell drugs to get it, stealing, stealing vehicles. Anything I had to do to get money, I was willing to do it, and I done it to get the money so I could have that next shot. In 2006, I got incarcerated on a four-year sentence, and I done an 18-month stay at the new Sequatchie County Justice Center. My name is Leonard Sullivan. I'm the chaplain at Sequatchie County Justice Center, and I've, I've been at this position about seven years now, and uh, my, my thing is, is trying to help the inmates so that when they leave, there'll be different people than they were when they came in. We've got 33, I think 33 churches that's involved in the ministry we have here. Every day of the week, we have a church service at the jail. So I think that's a, a main step in changing their lives is getting them uh, to Jesus Christ, them changing their lives. And through about five months there, I found God. And I lived for the Lord for the longest. But before I left there, I left God there at the Justice Center. But then a lot of them go back out and they, they, they face a lot of things in, in the outside world. I decided to be the cussing, smoking Deanna that I had been in the past. A lot of them go back out and they don't, they don't have jobs to go to. And so when they get back out there and looking for a job and they get downhearted and think, well, you know, uh, the only way I can do it is I hear so many say, well, I, I sold drugs or I, I did meth or something when I was out and I, and I got by pretty good on it even though I did end up in jail. So I'll just take my chance and I'll do that again. I, I failed. I fell back down. But then upon my second incarceration, I got God back in my life. And the seed was planted in me when I left there. I went home to where my children were. There's rules, no drugs, nothing like that, because, you know, that's my mother-in-law's house. She's a very good woman. She doesn't do drugs. She's never, you know, allowed drugs to be around my children. And I went home, went to church that night. Loved it, loved it every bit. But by the time the next day rolled around, the devil was right there at my feet. And by that Friday, I'm in jail in another county, in Meigs County. And so I get out of jail up there, have to turn around and go right to court the next day here in Sequatchie mm -hmm. for what I was in trouble for. And got lucky to walk up out of there and walked right up out of there with my old friends. So the first thing the friends wants to do is get some more drugs or, uh, you know, or, or get some more alcohol. and. I didn't have no good place to go to, but back to the drug addict friends again. If I hadn't have done the stuff I'd done, I'd have been able to go back to my mother-in-law where my children were, but I'd done messed up. Uh, a lot of them, their families, uh, well, what they've done, they've used their family so much. Finally, their, their family just cuts all ties off. And, and when they do that, well, then they're out in a world where they don't have anybody to turn to. And so they end up back in the same crowd they were in. I would talk about God through the week the whole time and about wanting to go to church. But then when Sunday got there, I was so strung out on the meth and from drinking whiskey that I was too scared to go to church. I didn't want to go to church like I was. So one night I decided to get high. I used morphine, Oxycontin, and cocaine. And before the day was over, God came and visited me that night. I was dying is what was happening to me. And I said, Lord, if you'll let me live to call Debbie at Serenity Point, I won't do another shot of dope. They detoxed me on my own, worked me. I planted grass, I done yard work, burnt brush, 
put up the dishes, uh, help decorate some of the rooms. I never thought that you could have fun not having drugs, but me being at Serenity Point, they taught me that I can do stuff and not have to be high to do it. You can have fun and do stuff. It's gonna be very important here to this valley that, that we have that place that they can go to that will teach them and, and how, how to cope with life, how, how to spend their money and what they need to do. I decided, I decided that night when God came to me that I was gonna change from the inside. If you ain't ready to change from the inside, you can't never change on the outside. You have to make a change with your heart. Once that change was made, I knew that, that those people were gonna be there to help me in good times and in bad times if I needed it. That, that's why we, we need a place like this, that so the people go out and they keep their respectability when they go out outside. There's never been no place like that before in Dunlap to help. I, if it would have been there, I could have probably got help before. I'm far from being perfect. I'm a recovering addict right now. A drug and alcohol recovering addict is what I am. But I'm also a child of God. And I pray every night for all the lost souls out there for God to help them and for all the, all the addicts. I pray every night for him just to watch over them and keep them safe. These people are human beings. They just made mistakes that they got caught at. And we as, as a, a, a generation of people, if we'll turn back and start helping them to be able to cope with life, when their whole lives will be different. And instead of having a convict, well, we'll have a, a productive citizen.